Hi there everybody. Back again after a while. This is not a martial arts video. This is actually a science video that uh, my friend Brutus Cassius cleverly persuaded me into making. It is a video response to Sir I have a question which features unsolved questions around the expanding earth model versus the plate tectonic model. In short review, what does the expanding earth model say? It says, first the earth was rather small and then over time it became bigger. So, this is what earth was supposed to look like at first and after a while it became much bigger. So, what can we say to this? First of all, why do the proponents of the expanding earth model claim that the expanding earth model is valid? Well, they say, actually if you look at the shape of the continents and uh, basically reduce the size of the earth they fit they fit snugly together and they say they actually give a better fit than the Pangaea model there are vivid computer animations showing that this argument has some merit and the model was hardly discussed in the 1920s and there are still some scientists advocate it. Now mainstream science says this model is invalid and the plate tectonic model is the model with the almost overall scientific consensus. Why is that so? Well first of all while the plate tectonic model leaves some questions open so does the expanding earth model. And, uh, Funnily enough, although I'm a physicist, the first argument I give is a biological argument. The expanding Earth model... Oh no, I will give that later. Yeah, the shape of the continents fits snugly together if you make the Earth smaller. In the Pacific you can obviously also find some rifts and grooves that run rather parallel, like the fingers of my hand. And uh, this is to say, if I have a floor like this and the whole thing, um, the camera expands, then it is going like this and what I get is grooves. So those grooves that we find in the Pacific are vivid evidence of expansion. This is the Pacific floor we are looking at and if it expands, then we get parallel grooves. And yes, such parallel grooves can be found in the Pacific floor. Now, so there are some things supporting that expanding Earth model. Then, why does mainstream science not support it? Well, the main problem is we cannot find evidence for an expanding Earth model. We simply cannot measure it. And uh, the proponents of the expanding Earth have suggested figures themselves. The one that I seem to recall right now is 0.5 millimeters per year. And that would not apply if you do the mathematics for the continental drift we have had over the last 270 million years. The figures just don't match. But And yes, we could measure 0.5 millimeters per year if we set up a measurement device measuring over several years, doing average, doing good statistical analysis, we could measure this. So the first and foremost argument is we cannot find any empirical evidence. We simply cannot measure it. Then again, it may be that the Earth once expanded and now doesn't. So, that we cannot measure it now does not necessarily mean it did never expand. 
So what's next? Now, the next thing is why mainstream science does not adopt that model is there is a lack of a mechanism how this expansion would have come about. There are several models that sketch such mechanisms but they have never been worked out completely or only some of them have. So let us look what would we have had. There are basically two kinds of models that qualitatively are different. The one is the constant mass model, the other is the growing mass model. Let us first look at the growing mass model. The growing mass model basically said if you have a small planet and constantly rain sand, rocks, asteroids on it, then over time, ta-da, magic trick, it becomes bigger. Basically, if you pour stuff on a small heap, it will become a big heap. If that big, that, sorry, if that heap is floating in thin air or rather in empty space, due to gravity, it is a spherical heap looking like this. So, if you pour enough stuff on this, sooner or later it will look like this. That is one idea of the growing mass model. We cannot outrule that a lot of space debris has rained down on Earth. No way to outrule that. In fact, we have several craters that show that there have been severe asteroid impacts in Earth history. Only if we measure back the radius of the craters and then calculate the mass of those asteroids, the asteroid impacts we know of would not account for the Earth growing actually bigger. So, we don't know how much debris rained down. It may have been like that. The other growing mass model would be like there has been a big impact of something almost as big as the Earth coming together and then melting together and producing something like this. Well, that makes nice stuff for the movies. What would have probably happened if two almost equal masses come together like this is both masses would have been completely pulverized. In other words, you would have created another asteroid belt. And at the time when the proponents of the expanding Earth model suggest this happened, there was already highly developed life on Earth and that life would have completely been destroyed. In other words, we would probably not exist because life could not have recovered from such an impact in only a few hundred million years. No way. At least not according to what we know. So the one big impact model can rather safely be outruled because if that rather big impact had happened, either we would have an asteroid field and no life would be there to wander, or we would not have an asteroid field but rather an interesting piece of molten rock, formerly called half-size Earth, also no life on it. So no big impact. Small impact maybe, but then again you would have to have a great many small impacts over the last 270 million years. I don't know how the proponents of the expanding Earth came to the number of 270 million years. I didn't bother to look it up actually. So I just take it at face value. But it could be looked up. Now, anyway, then there is the model where no mass growth occurred. In other words, the mass of the Earth remained more or less constant. And how would it be possible that Earth expands if its mass remains constant? I'm approaching 10 minutes. I will make another video. So long.